so for the next two weeks, cultivation is going to be playing a role. Slow and steady wins the race. Taurus rules the second house of income, but also acquisition and the money you make from your work along with value. So keep this in mind. Aquarius. So cultivating finances, money, ac acquiring is going to be a focus. Oops. The ascendant, as I was saying, listen to your rising sign, okay? But this is the entrance card to your birth chart. So everything, all the energy comes through here and spreads throughout your chart. The rising sign is extremely important. So I'm taking that as a message to listen to your rising sign also. Also, I just got Taurus may play an important role in the next two weeks. And then we got your card, Aquarius. Wow. So we got Aquarius, the 11th house of friends. We got the collaborator. So collaboration, focusing on your money, resources, and acquisition. Slow and steady wins the race. A Taurus may be applicable or even another Aquarius for some of you. I want you just to keep these in mind. And also listen to your rising sign messages. I'm going to get one more and then I'm going to get into the reading. Aquarius. We got the moon perception, how you perceive things, changing your perception, working on your perception of things. Um, Perceiving where you want to be also. This is the 10th house of career, your public persona, your public presence. Okay. Those were the cards from there. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got the second house and resources. Focusing on that money, focusing on the resources is going to be a theme for the next two weeks. Okay. So let's go ahead and just get the overall here. I'm going to do a love reading after this. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. But don't forget to click the bell to get notified of it when it comes. All right, please give me the most accurate messages for Aquarius for mid-month. All right, so we got you, Aquarius. Sorry, Queen of Swords coming through here with the Two of Swords. So. Some of you are trying to make a decision or will be having a decision coming up in the next two weeks where you may not know what to do or which you may feel like you're stuck for some of you. Like you don't know which way to go. Some of you have two options. Now, this could be relationships, job, career, whatever it's going to be. But the two of swords is about being mentally stuck about which direction to go, kind of in an in-between place where you're like, I don't really know what to do. So for some of you that's coming up, some of you might be there right now. Tell me about this, please. So we got the Four of Cups. So this is about something of you not being happy with what you currently have or seeking that pie in the sky or there's somebody specific that you want something or someone that you specifically want, okay? The Four of Cups is the universe giving you, okay, what you want, and you have to be able to see it. So, and it's also about you not wanting the other options that you have or feeling emotionally unfulfilled and wanting this one option. So keeping this in mind for your reading, some of you have a decision coming up between two things one of them you want, one of them the universe is handing to you. But for some reason, you're finding yourself at a standstill or difficulty making this decision coming up. Okay, Aquarius, 
because some of you it could be regarding another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but I'm getting that for a lot of you, this is you coming to this choice to make in the next two weeks between two people or two situations. One of them is definitely the universe handing you one, or you already know who this one is, and you are emotionally at a place where you know kind of which one you want. But for some reason, you're not really, in, in the second half of this month, able to make a clear decision or you're struggling with it. All right, what else do we have for Aquarius? And that could be regarding two jobs, two people, two situations, okay? So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which is awesome. I mean, Ten of Swords in reverse, um, which is... In this case, some of you, the Ten of Swords, okay, is an ending. It's like there was too much mental stress, too much something that caused you too much mental stress, too much stress, period, and you were just done with it. But the Ten of Swords in reverse is you being able to look at it as a lesson learned or, as you see, is looking at third person or something that was gained from the, from the stress you were put through, okay? There's always something to be gained from. But... I'm also getting that there's a new cycle starting with regards to this because in the reverse is you coming out of this place and you finally seeing what was done and why you had to get out of this place and you now being out of this place, okay? Some of you learning a lesson from it, some of you reviewing it, some of you being like, okay, I'm done with this and I'm now, I now looked at it and now I'm moving on. So you're no longer in that heavy mental stress. You've taken the lessons and you're moving on with regards to whatever that situation was. What else? All right, so we got the five of wands in reverse, which is coming out of conflict, not having... Um, it, it, so I'm getting it with this Ten of Swords in reverse and this, I mean, Ten of Swords in reverse and the Five of, coming out of conflict, coming out of stress, letting it all go and moving on. Literally, from a lot of you, you're moving out of heavy emotional, mental stress, um, out of the internal battles, outer world battles, struggles, whatever it is, because this is definitely coming out of it. You're not fighting, sorry. I got clumsy fingers today. You're not, you're not, um, some of you, it could have been fighting the mental stress and then winning. Okay. It's going to be different for all of you, but nonetheless, you're coming out of a struggle. You're coming out of a struggle. It's like, you're no longer having to deal with any of that frustration. What else? Which is awesome, right? You're, you're breaking free, learning lessons, moving forward, truly. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Wands, which is someone taking action towards you. Some of this could be a younger fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or you taking initiative. Let's take a look and see what that's about. I feel like a lot of you are moving past all of this too. This is just a message that you're moving out of conflict. Okay, moving out of frustrations, aggravations, um, it's like just coming out of mental stress, frustrations, aggravation, and heaviness, and now feeling confident and moving forward. Okay, but let's take a look. Tell me more about the native ones. So we have the Nine of Pentacles which is the woman that's got it all, or this is feeling successful, feeling good, feeling amazing about yourself. So some of you are walking into confidence, taking initiative, feeling good, feeling like yourself, and some of you are moving into a place where you got it all, okay? And it's followed by the wheel. So there's a massive turn of events happening here, okay? And it's like, you're in control now. You're, you're in control. You're feeling really good. You got everything you want and need. You're moving forward confidently. Some of you, this is somebody wanting a younger fire sign, wanting to turn things around with you because they pretty much think you're everything and you got it all. Tell me more. 
take it how residencies are general so you're not all involved in exactly the same situation with the same person and all that stuff thank god all right then we got the full card so this is taking a leap of faith trusting the universe letting go of baggage and moving forward so a lot of you are literally moving forward taking more risks taking leaps of faith and letting go of some stuff moving forward lighter and then we got the magician which is manifestation so a lot of you are taking risks on manifesting what it is that you want you're going for it all right here some of you are really focused in the next two weeks on manifesting exactly what you want and letting go of something and moving forward into what it is that you do want okay i do feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling like you got your manifestation skills under wraps here a lot of you are really powering up in terms of that but you got everything it takes aquarius to get anything that you want okay now we got the we got the tower in reverse which is avoiding a disaster or coming out of one or fixing one I feel like some of you are really, yeah, because we got the six of wands following that. So some of you, there could have been a breakdown of some sort that's totally getting repaired, totally getting fixed, and it's going to make you super happy. Literally something I, I just got that some of you felt like something was like the tower moment where all was lost or a breakdown or you've been through it. You just got like whatever, but it's leading you to an extremely happy place, successful place where people are going to. So where you're getting the recognition in career in whatever the situation might be, because whatever this tower, it's reversed. So, and I'm getting that it was like something that could have been bad or something that went wrong that's totally getting fixed. And it's, and you're going to be on top of the world because of this. Some of you, it's something you manifested, something you just took a risk on. You took a leap of faith and are manifesting it. But others of you, I feel like it's just something that broke down or it was some sort of disaster or some sort of unexpected event or something that is actually bringing you into a really great place. Yeah. Some of you avoided something and now you're in a great place. Some of you had something happen and it's getting fixed and putting you in a greater place. See how that resonates for you, okay? Because it's different for all of you, but it's like what it seemed like a disaster actually turns out to be a really positive thing. And then we got the seven of cups, which actually came in the reverse, but for some reason I flipped it. I don't know which way I should go with it. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to say it this way. I think it's going to apply both ways. And that's why I did that for some of you. Some of you are confused about options or confused about making an option. Some of you have a lot of options. Some of you are just unsure of which direction to go. Others of you, I feel like you're going to have clarity on that. Like, I feel like whatever you've been confused about, like you don't, it could be emotional confusion. It could be unclarity on stuff or decisions or options that you have. I, because I flipped it, I'm feeling like this is like you knowing and seeing like which one it is that you got to, you got to choose. So a lot of you are going to choose the right option. And it's funny because in the beginning we had you kind of here, you're going to make the right choice regarding that situation. Okay, the next up, we got the Six of Swords, moving to a place of calmer waters, emotional stability. Some of you traveling, some of you actually moving, or some of you traveling. And we got the Judgment card. I'm going to clarify that with another one. 
clarify the judgment. So I feel like a lot of you are going to get clarity on something. You're going to see something for what it truly is. You're going to be making a judgment on a situation or on something, or you're going to be getting clarity or something is going to come to the light and be exposed that you're going to find out about. And for some of you, it's something that you've been looking at from every perspective and maybe you haven't been sure about what, what to do about it because a judgment is about exposing in the light okay so you can get truth of the situation this is after reflection looking at everything from a different perspective and it's going to bring you to a very calm mental place so it's going to be good news whatever this clarity that comes through is tell me more now we got the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or riding rising sorry um, could be masculine or feminine in general readings. It could go both ways. This is typically a person who's mature, successful, stable. If they're not all of that, they definitely are somebody that's steadfast, that's conservative in some way or earthy in some way. Um, they're focused on money and security. And I got the queen of water to follow. Some of you, this could be your sun moon or rising sign or the earth taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising sign it could be okay um or these could be two people coming up here but take it how it resonates tell me more i feel like you're moving i just got you guys are moving into a financially stable more secure place along with emotionally stable okay and then we got the world card, which is ending of a cycle and beginning anew. So some of you are going to start a new cycle with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or if these are one of your rising signs, you could be starting a new cycle with the other one. Okay? And it looks like it's a love interest, starting a new love interest. It's a ace of cups. So a lot of you are starting a new cycle in love and a big love is coming in. And it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But I definitely see that coming in. So for some of you that haven't met this person, you could very well meet them. Those of you that know who this person is, you're starting a new cycle with them or you're having an opportunity to. Now, for some of you, it's a decision between these two. Just saying. Okay. So this is just the general for the next two weeks of what you can expect. Um, Let's see what the moon cards that come through for Aquarius. Give me three cards for Aquarius for the next two weeks. Your hard work is paying off moon and Capricorn. This may have something to do with some of you, but for some of you, your hard work is paying off. Okay. Literally, you're going to start seeing rewards from your hard work. And I can tell you right now, you've been doing it because you've had Saturn in your sign and Saturn's hard work for the past two years. Tell me more, please. So your hard work is paying off. Okay. Aquarius. Gosh getting really really awful with this we got new start is coming new moon so there's new energy coming in okay new energy and i can feel that coming in with the whole turn of events something turning around totally positive that that was a total breakdown okay but a new start is coming for a lot of you okay and new moons are typically where that point so keep that in mind let's see what else we have And we got, how oh, lovely. What do you need to release? Go ahead and get rid of it before Saturn leaves because we got Pluto coming next. Release whatever you need to. I'm just going to pull the next one right after it. 
nothing is set in stone you can always change it anything is changeable at any point in time you're never stuck you can change it all right aquarius that's what i have for you guys for this mid-month update if you found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up i love you guys so much and always love to hear from you say hi uh, for our personal reading you can now text me at 818-839-1116 or you can email me at illumastrology at gmail.com plus you can read all about astrology all the aspects transits all that stuff at my site at www.illumastrology.com or see about all my readings that i offer all right you guys thank you so much for joining me until next time